another day, another video in my backyard. Hardly call it a studio, more of a setup. But here we are. Hope you're doing well. Let's jump on it. Thanks so much for clicking on the video, taking the time to be here together. I uh, hope you're doing well, by the way. I know things are crazy out there, so take care of yourself, stay home, do what you gotta do, and uh, you know, we'll get through this. And today we are going to do something that is going to really help your game when you get to go back on the course. So, but it's a perfect opportunity to practice it in your home, set up, whatever you got. And that doesn't matter. This is going to be great for your game. And I just uh, make sure you hit the like button if you like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you hit the bell, then you'll be notified when I release new videos. So that'll be cool if you do that as well. All the um, products I use and things I recommend, there are links in the video description below, some discounts. So be sure to always check that out as well. All right, enough talking, let's do it. So I'm gonna give you my five keys for how to hit consistent, great, fairway, wood, metal, whatever, shots. Okay, so tip number one. Tip number one here is this. Know what fairway woods you need to have. Okay, that's key. I'm gonna, and I'll explain that uh, here because typically we just go, okay, driver, then we get a three wood, we get a hybrid and we move on, right? Or that's kind of the standard setup. I'm gonna show you something. Here's my three wood, okay? Decent. Now, what I'm looking for in my fairway woods is carry distance. That's the number one most important thing I'm going for. Now, what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna show you this, we're gonna move to a five wood, all right? It's important here, that's my three wood, let's switch to five wood. Let's see what that gets. Two things I want you to look at. One is my carry distance. When you're talking fairway woods, the number one most important thing for me in terms of which clubs to have in my bag is carry distance. Let's say my three wood is going 250. Let's just give it 250. So it's carrying more than my five wood by 10 yards. That's not a big deal. But my shots with my five wood are so much better. They're right down the middle of the fairway. So what I want to do is, what I've been doing is I don't even carry the three wood anymore. It's a great club, but I'm more consistent. I hit a higher ball, I hit a better ball, and I get pretty good distance with it. So the number one key for you is, in terms of your fairways, know what clubs you should have in your bag. I don't need a three wood because it's just, I'm not getting much, that much more out of it than my five would. And I'm getting much more consistency with the five. So I'm gonna take that out and I'm gonna add maybe a wedge or something in that scoring club zone that will help me out. So just know that that's super important before you do anything else, know what clubs you need in your bag. Step two. Okay, number two, now that you know what clubs you need in your bag, hopefully, now you can move on to step two. What we wanna do is practice these half swings right in here. This is what I call the critical zone. Other people call it different things, it doesn't matter. It's just the most important part of the golf swing from here to here. So I wanna practice that a lot. I just wanna hit these little guys right in here. Right there, you're working on your body motion, you're working on eye-hand coordination, you're working on putting the club on the ball. And that, in fairway land, fairway wood land, is the most important thing. Center of club face on the center of the ball, okay? Hit the center of the club face. And if you're taking it way back up here, you're gonna get in trouble. So you wanna practice in here. 
ultimately and as you do this more and more it will shorten your swing by itself because you'll realize that first of all you'll probably do this and it'll be a full swing especially if you video yourself so but really we want to be right in here just practice these little guys work on your rotation work on that critical zone shot it's super important with every club in your bag but really mostly the longer clubs like your fairway woods and you'll learn how to engage it with the turf properly whether you're on a mat doesn't matter get 140 yards right down the middle of the fairway if you can do that with these man it's gonna be a life saver for you moving on all right next step here is this you have to know your miss now this applies in life and in golf all right if you're gonna get in trouble over there don't don't go there okay if the bar if you're a bad drunk don't go to the bar okay that's just a a life lesson same rules apply in golf and especially with your longer clubs like your fairway club off the ground know your miss my miss with my three is a snap hook that's my miss if i don't hit a good shot it's usually a pull hook okay look at that right there i don't want that another reason that's not in the bag i can hit a great shot and if i really catch one yeah i could go 270 or whatever but i gotta know my miss my miss with my uh, hybrids is also a snap hook i don't like that my miss with my five wood is not a snap hook it's like a pole and i'd be much happier with a pole than a snap hook so you've got to know your miss and the only way you know your miss is to practice hitting shots feeling it out if you have a little launch monitor like this it's not a promotional ad for this thing although i do like it but it tells me where the ball is going so you have to know your miss and then you can you know work on your swing accordingly but if you don't know it when you get on the course you're gonna be in no man's land and that is going to cost you many many shots so as in life in golf know where your miss is so you can avoid it next step okay this one i see all the time and i i do it too when i'm hitting it bad i always come back video my swing and i look at this thing first okay and it's depending on what club i'm hitting poorly you better have proper hand position when you're hitting your longer clubs okay especially fairways if you're up here okay hands forward you're doomed you're doomed from the start watch this just for starters putting your hands forward look at that that club face is going to open up like that see that you don't want that you, you don't you don't want that once that club face opens i mean only bad things can happen from there unless you get just super lucky so that's no good okay it's better if you're gonna make a hand position mistake it's better to go backwards okay because typically you just add loft when you go backwards you shut it a little bit but you're gonna go back a lot less than you go forward i see people here but i never see people here and that's the it's equal distance back as it was forward so what i want is your hand position i want you to start out right down the middle of your face right here okay and it, just almost every video i do i talk about hand position it is a uh it's something that's plaguing your hand position it's like now i'm not going to say it but it's a it's a virus of golf we got to eliminate it get eradicate it you know what i'm talking about i'm not even going to say it okay but that's what it is in golf we got to get rid of this thing right down the middle okay and then all you do is add a little lateral bend here Boink, right there that's it and now your hands automatically came the right distance forward don't add to it okay so hand position is key if you make a mistake just be back put a hand position right here center tilt a touch and you're good to go hand position is your friend you got to make sure 
you're good to go with the hands, all right? Uh, one more for you, and this one, this one is my favorite. Come on. Okay, here is what I want you to do. I want you to take, after you've done steps one through four, now I want you to do step five here. You're gonna take a full three-quarter swing. What? Full three-quarter, right. Sometimes I say take a three-quarter swing, and I get a lot of, you know, just people who take it here and then they just, they swing. I want you to take a full swing, but I want you to take a full three-quarter swing or even less than that, just right in here, and then go after it, okay? I don't want you to take a three-quarter swing and then just baby it. I want you to give it all you got from that, okay, what, nine o'clock, 10 o'clock, 10.30, okay? Don't go to 11, no, right here. If you can't get what you, if you can't get what you need by 10.30, you ain't getting it, all right? <laughs> so right here, right here, 10.30. One other way to make sure, because so many people have a difficult time taking that three-quarter swing, is as soon as you feel your shoulder and tin, chin touch, then you're swinging, okay? So you're here and you're like, oh, I feel it. So think about this right here. That's what I do. And then I know I'm right here. Because sometimes I'm like, oh, you try to take three quarter and you're like, you look like John Daly. We don't want that. Went here, touch and go. So just feel your chin and your shoulder meet and then you know you're good to go. And I'm really giving it everything I got here. And that's gonna help you sync your swing up. It's all about sequencing, timing, everything getting in the right place at the right time. If you go too long, if you're not doing what you need to do, if you're not working on the right things, it's never going to work. So shorten that up, but give it all you got. There you go. Thanks again for uh, taking the time to watch the video. Really hope it helped your game. Practice indoors, practice in a net. Links below for stuff you may need. Super appreciate you uh, stopping by for the video. Take care of yourself. I love you guys. See you in the next video.